Hello and welcome to YouTube Log, day number 56. This is where I measure and track what's going on behind the scenes, offering up insights on mistakes made and lessons learned. First up, the overview since day number 20. It's been a ridiculously busy past 36 days since the most recent update on day number 20. Two and a half weeks and 106 hours were spent on the IBM Data Science Certificate, so I didn't do anything on YouTube. Uh, I changed the YouTube channel name again to Data Research Labs, which is a cool name. The, all the names prior weren't that good, but this one I like. This one has sticking power, and it'll match the scope that I want to present for a long time into the future. So I'm pretty happy with it. And I was also able to purchase the domain, www.dataresearchlabs.com, and pointed the YouTube channel, oops, spelled wrong, the, pointed that domain to the YouTube channel. So there's nothing on the website. Later I can put something up, but for now it just redirects to YouTube. I got published to medium.com. After doing the IBM Data Science Certificate, I wrote up uh, a review on that certification and published it, and that drove a fair bit of traffic here. It reset the baseline from <laughs> a pathetic one view a day to now a paltry 12 views a day, and it had a spike of about 100, and then it petered off to 50, and then back down to about 12 a day. So that's uh, cross-linking a YouTube video with an article out on Medium or making Excel content, for example, with a link back to the YouTube channel, all of that reinforces and promotes one with the other and it and really helps drive traffic. So later I'll get deeper into that, uh, but not right now. First I got to get the content. Once I have the content, then I have something that I can promote. So I've got to focus on the content right now. It has to be good content. It's going to take time to build it all up and get good at it. Uh, I also <laughs> finally fixed my pixelated image, uh, Fiverr.com. There's a fellow on there from Indonesia for five bucks, 10 bucks, or 15 bucks, different uh, qualities. You can get a cartoon of yourself. So I did, I thought that was cool. And if you go on Fiverr.com, look for this gentleman, F-A-J-A-R-S-U-S -S underscore. He does a great job of cartoonifying anything from a picture. And last, uh, well, actually there's two more, I established uh, 12 basic Excel tutorials for high school or college students and finished uh, the first advanced Excel tutorial on simple linear regression. I like doing these. I want to do several playlists with basic Excel and advanced Excel and Excel examples. They'll all self-reinforce each other. And then the plan is that making it all um, CC, common, whatever, basically public domain teachers and others pick it up and start referencing it and I'll get more views out of it. And for me, the end goal is all about, a, well, one part of it is to have a portfolio. To do data science, you have to have a portfolio. So I'm going to do Excel, I'm going to do SQL, and I'm going to work my way up and do data science projects and have a mix of all of that out here in the YouTube videos. But I want to get this start and get viewers up because I have to get views up, then it ranks higher in YouTube and Google, and then when I get to the content that I really want to push for my portfolio, I'll have a high enough, I'll rank high enough in those two search algorithms that it'll get views to the content that I really want. And so two, three, four years out, it's a long haul here, that will help my portfolio. And then that helps the back half of my career. That That's the plan. Uh, and along the way, sharing a bunch of content, sharing a bunch of knowledge. I have uh, 30 years, 1991 to 2021, 30 years I've been using Excel. So I've always wanted to build out a bunch of Excel training. Why not do it now? So, And then I'm going to do SQL as well, a bunch of SQL training from basic SQL usage all the way up to advanced heuristics and writing test automation in using SQL scripts. So a lot of stuff I want to do. It's going to take months and months, if not years, to build it all in my spare time. But it's fun. It's just slowly but steadily coming together. It takes time. The red dash bar here is the last time that I did a YouTube blog video on day number 20. Since then, I'm up to 447 views, up from 122. That's uh, like roughly three times as much in the last 36 days. I'm uh, up to 28.1 total hours watched from 6.7, up to nine subscribers from four. I know, there's still paltry numbers, but four to nine is roughly doubling. Seven up to 28 is roughly four times as many hours watched as the first month. So twice the time, four times the hours watched. And there's a spike. This is the spike that I was talking about earlier with the medium.com article. 
I guess it only got about 60 views. But it went up. And look at the baseline. So this traffic over here is just me playing with my site sometimes 20 times in a day because I was clicking it to look and check this and try that. And it was all new. And then I went quiet while I was doing right in from about here. Basically, this post to this post was the two and a half weeks that I was taking the IBM Data Science course. And traffic went flat, very few people uh, coming in. Spiked with the Medium article, and now my baseline is reset somewhere somewhere between 10 and 20. I'm assuming it's like 12 is my average. So my old baseline was one. This was effectively zero, it was all me. And now my baseline's been reset. As I have additional content and as views come in, people will start noticing and then uh, I probably won't go into the details, but the, most of my search is 40 to 50%, it's 48%, I think, of the views are now in the past three, four weeks coming in from YouTube recommendations. So people watch a video similar to one of mine, but put out by someone else, and they get referred over to my video. That's where most of my traffic's coming from. And 20% or less is coming from YouTube search, and like 8% coming from Google search. 4%, I can't remember, but the majority of traffic is coming from YouTube recommendations. So I need to go dial in the titles, dial in the descriptions on my videos better, and target other videos that are close and replicate some of the same content. And then the search engine should hopefully make even better recommendations, because so far that's the best way. One video in particular, the how to use screenshot the first video, that one is getting a lot of traffic based on someone else's video that's very similar. And that's like 20%, 30% of the traffic is that one video. And it's interesting because to me that content isn't as good as other videos. And yet it's getting good traffic because of that relationship. So anyway, I'll focus on that later. Right now I want to focus on getting sets of interrelated content up for Excel. When I get those sets up, then I'll worry about promoting it and trying to hook in and get the YouTube search engine algorithm tied tighter so the content. I'm not gonna worry about that right now, but later I will. Uh, the reach, according to the YouTube metrics, there's another huge jump from 707 all the way up to 20,000 impressions. So when this Medium article went, YouTube pushed and advertised or uh, pushed my uh, YouTube videos out on impressions so that people would see them and <laughs> the click through dropped down to nothing 1.3 and it used to be at like nine percent but that's because they pushed it so heavily and no one wanted to see the content i read somewhere that two percent two and a half percent is a good number so 1.3 is not a very good number but that all happened when when this yeah certainly didn't go viral with 60 views and 6,000 impressions but relative to where i was that was a big spike even though it's not big compared to other people. But um, yeah, the impressions went way up, didn't get a lot of traction, and then it started to fall back down. Uh, there's 272 unique viewers. I like to watch that one. That's up from 28 unique viewers after the first 20 days. Now the next 36 days, it went up by a factor of about 10, so that's good. Uh, 147 views, that's good too. The content stickiness is where viewers subscribe or save the URL and rewatch or forward to coworkers and peers and students. I want that number to go up and it hasn't. It'll take time. But I'm gonna keep my eye on that. Uh, the Medium article here, that obviously drove a massive amount of traffic to site. Uh, so that's important to write a matching article and then cross-linking with YouTube to drive traffic. At some point in the future, I'll do a few more of these. And at some point, I'll probably start Every time I release a video, I'll release a Medium article. Not now. That'll come later. I want to, I really want to get a core set of videos out there for Excel. And then I'll come back and start doing some of these other more embellishing type of tasks. Let's see. Eh. At some point in the future, uh, document impact. Yeah, I'm reading my notes right now. If this were a regular video, I'd clip all this content, but I don't care. This is more of a log to show what the state is at certain points in time, both the counts and also what it's like, because I know I'm under no illusions. It'll go two, three years with 
low traffic before it starts to take off. And I just got to keep chipping away at it. And that's the point of these videos is to document that. Uh, these YouTube blog videos, the ones with the purple title. Uh, <laughs> I had a little note. I, I can't peddle vapor content. It reminds me of vaporware in the 90s. So I need to build high quality content first. Let it percolate. And it's like compound interest to an investor. The How does the Google algorithm work? <clears throat> it looks at every website on earth and says, okay, this page, how many websites reference it? And that's how it ranks things. I'm assuming YouTube is somewhat similar. And so it takes time for those links to percolate and get out there. I'm targeting high school and college professors, and I want them to see the content in the playlist and add them to their syllabus as either optional, mandatory, probably just optional. Hey, if you want additional learning resources, here's some playlists. And it takes time to get on those to, to just percolate through. But once it gets out there and the views start coming in, then it'll be like compound interest or self reinforce a self-reinforcing loop anyway so that it just takes time got to be patient and got to have good quality content out there for that to happen and I'm not doing content that's time sensitive or that that I have to generate it every day and it's gonna not matter a year from now I'm trying to do content like a, there's a statistics course that I took in college and I love the guy's content Brandon Fultz, I think is his name. Anyway, I love what he did. He put content out there in the 2008, 12 years ago, 13 years ago now, in the last economic downturn. And he started building content and his stuff is timeless. It's still used in the data science graduate program that I took. There was his material right there, recommended. And it was good stuff that many years later. And so I want to do the same thing with SQL, with Excel usage and some data science topics. So patience is the key. Build high quality content and be patient. Got to pick up the pace here a little bit. So the watch time since over the last 36 days has gone up to 28.1 hours from 6.7 hours. So about four, four times as many. That's good. But the average view duration is 3 minutes 46 seconds. That's not good. Sure, it's up from 3 minutes 19 seconds, but it's not good. Uh, let's go off script here. I'm taking a screenshot. Here's the screenshot training video tutorial. And look at that, there's such a drop off. Boom, the first few seconds, most people drop. They see my intro and just go, what the heck, and they exit. And this is an old intro, I've since improved it. I learned that you really need to come right out up front and say, this video is about this, this, and this. And then you do a little intro and then you jump right in the material. So anyway, it drops off, but then at least 15, 10 to 15% stay the duration and, and go through to the end the full 30 minutes for the complete tutorial on how to use the tool that sure would be nice to get up to 33 or 50 percent so I got to watch that and and just play with that over time there's all kinds of stuff I can improve uh, I like doing the PowerPoint waypoints that uh, and I tie them into the chapters but Ah, man, even that is weird. So the chapters have been working fine for me for two months, and now the chapters on YouTube. I just went back to check the latest video, and they've, they've been working all the way up to last week. And now, even the existing ones, the chapters aren't working. So I think YouTube's doing something with the chapters where you play, and there's the little breaks, and you can click ahead. Anyway, whatever. I digress. YouTube audience uh, tab up to 272 unique viewers. That's about 10 times higher than it was on day number 20. It was down in the 28 range, I think, so that's good. But uh, only 1.6 views per viewer, and that's down from 4.4 on day 20. But a lot of that's probably me testing, so it doesn't count in the beginning. Uh, as the Excel content starts to take hold over the next one or two months, the repeat views should go up considerably because I have a big chunk of interrelated content in the playlist. So I hope that the average views per viewer goes up to the two, three, four range. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. And I have to build a whole bunch of other content in playlists as well. So maybe six, eight, twelve months from now, this should go up when there's sufficient content. So where does the time go? Well, since day number 20, last 36 days, <clears throat> I've made videos eight through 22. 24 is just a it's floating. I started it and then had to pause it 
because uh, anyway, I want to do simple linear regression and multiple linear regression before. So I'll come back and finish this later, but 242 hours all time. And that's across 56 days, uh, 22 videos, and 176 hours were spent on creating video content and 66 hours were just overhead time spent learning things, reading things, configuring, deploying, redoing things. So it's, it's getting better. More and more time as a percent is going towards content creation, which is good. I'm getting more efficient in learning. Long ways to go, long, long ways to go, but at least I'm more efficient than I was the first seven videos. So I do all this on the evenings and weekends. So I have to be efficient about it. I have a day job that takes most of my time up. So uh, it's interesting to track for one minute of video content creation, what goes behind that. And it's getting better. There's, it's, I've now at uh, 25 minutes creating a video per one minute. That's how much time I spend creating the video per one minute of actual video, and about nine and a half minutes of overhead setup, et cetera. Overall, I'm down to 34 and a half minutes. I was, the first seven videos, it was 55, almost 56 minutes of effort in total per one minute of video. And now it's gotten a lot more efficient because of all these Excel videos. They're, they're a lot better. Some of them I can crank out seven minutes of effort per one minute of video. Others take more time to research, like this simple linear regression, 32 minutes of effort per one minute of video. So it took 18 hours to make a 33 minute video. That's <laughs> a lot of time, but the goal is to make something that stands the test of time and lasts for several years before I have to redo it. Maybe when Excel gets far enough along that stuff has changed. But uh, anyway, things are getting better. These numbers are all you know, 30, 40% better than they were for the first seven videos, so that's good. Let's see, anything else I want to hit? These are the actual video numbers since the last day number 20 publishing of this YouTube blog. There's the titles of the videos. There's the durations, durations as a minute, the number of hours it took to produce it, and then the effort per one minute of video. Boy, it sure varies, doesn't it? Look at that, the history and layout, 58 minutes. Why did it take 58 minutes per one minute of video? Basically because I was also planning and breaking this out and researching and reading a bunch of stuff and organizing my thoughts. So, and it was one video and I split it to 10 and 11. Split it in half because it was too big. And so it's a 22 minute video, but it's actually like one of them is 15 minutes or seven or something like that. Anyway, that's interesting. And then some of these are 6.9 minutes for Excel functions. Why? Because I did some of the work in formulas and then decided, oh, I need to split it out. So this one, some of the time here actually belongs here. Anyway, uh, oh, this is interesting. In total, all 22 videos, total 6.9 hours of content. So if someone watched everything that I have, including these YouTube logs, would be 6.9 hours of video. Uh, what else do we have over here? Oh, this is the overhead analysis of the overhead, 65 total hours of overhead, which equals the nine and a half minutes. And then the 25 minutes comes from totaling all this up. And I'm going beyond the eight, I'm going, I'm going all the way from video one, all time. So I'm doing it from day one all the way to the end. I'm not doing it in chunks. I think that wraps it up for this YouTube blog day number 56. Just threw out a bunch of metrics and tossed out a bunch of what was going on, decisions being made, and changes. And it's not all that polished, didn't do any cuts, but this is really just a dump of the information. As I go every, I don't know, if I, if I get too busy, it might be a month or two months in between these type of videos, but I want to capture the state at that point in time as the channel's going along, because I know I'm under no illusions. It's going to take years before it picks up and takes off, and I want to capture all the ugly period here in the beginning. Where you're just, I'm just slogging along, throwing hundreds of hours at it. Where am I at? 172 total hours. That's video creation. But overall, I'm at 200 and something total hours on this. So that's a lot of weeknights and evenings throwing at, throwing at it to only have, well, let's go see, to only have 28 total, <laughs> what is it, uh, 447 views, 272 people, 
have watched 28 hours of view time, but I put myself 242 hours into it. <laughs> so ROI, I put in 242 hours and less than 10%, 28 hours comes out of it. That's pretty terrible. But again, YouTube is like compound interest. You front load, put a bunch of time in and grind long and hard. And then eventually all of the cross links of the search algorithms and whatnot, it'll come to fruition and pay off, but it takes time, it takes lots of time. It reminds me of when I did the two freeware sites, I keep remembering those. It takes months and months and months and even a year or more, and then they'll start to pick up the pace. So anyway, that's the purpose behind these videos, just capture the state of the moment. And it's ugly in the beginning. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching, and please, if you found this video helpful, click like and be sure to subscribe below. Also be sure to check out our related videos in the boxes to the left.